Hey all, my name is Laszlo Lever. Welcome to my channel coaching. Today I will show you how can you use a CI CD pipeline to be able to connect to our Kubernetes cluster and start the automatic world deployment process through Argo CD from there. I had another tutorial about CI CD pipelines, you can find it on my YouTube channel. So let's get started. This video assumes that you have a working Kubernetes cluster where you have an application deployed with uh, Ergo CD. So if you haven't got this set up, please uh, check my previous videos. Now we are going to create our CI CD pipeline. So the final goal is to start the Ergo CD app synchronization from inside our CI CD pipeline. Here we are going to create only one stage named deploy. Our base image will be the Docker. You know it's a pure image so it doesn't contain the kubectl and Argo CD so we should install them. So you can find these commands on their websites. Here we install Argo CD and kubectl so just for debugging purposes, we can print out the version of kubectl to check it's working. Now we are going to connect to our Kubernetes cluster and set our context. We will set these variables later in this video. You can find here, for example, context name and other variables. We have the Argo server on our Kubernetes cluster, so we are using port forward here to be able to connect to Argo CD from the pipeline. You know, port forwarding is not very stable. It tends to send error messages to the console, and we want to prevent error messages from stopping our pipeline, so we are using this line for this purpose. So we can use the Argo CD login command here to log into Argo CD. Here we are going to set our variables before app synchronization. Here's the place where you can, for example, set up your image version, which will be de deployed by Argo CD to the Kubernetes cluster. And you can use the image version automatically, for example, from a commit hash. And finally, you can call Argo CD app sync command to start the synchronization. It will be a manually triggered CI CD pipeline. Set your runner stack. My runner stack is GitLab uh, org now. Now we will set up our uh, variables. So, first we have to create a service account because we are going to connect to our Kubernetes cluster with a service account. You can find the manifest file on their website. So paste it here and apply this service account and cluster role binding on your Kubernetes cluster. So please use the kubectl apply command to create the service account with the proper cluster role binding. So we need the service user certificate variable. We can get it if we get the secrets. So please use this command to get to list your secrets and we need this one named default token and you can use this command from here to get the value that we are looking for. You need to replace this one here to the default token secret name. Okay, I don't have the base64 uh, command on my system, but otherwise we shouldn't decode the value. So please remove the base64 call from your command line and please copy this value. Don't forget to push your 
previously created CI/CD pipeline to your repository and under your repository please open CI/CD uh, menu under the settings and uh, expand the variable section and here you can add your variables so first we are going to add our service account certificate variable The name of the variable is service user certificate and please copy the certificate value from your command line to here. The next variable we are going to set is the service user token. You can find all the commands here on their websites. We are needed. So we are going to use this command now please copy and paste it to your command line tool and here you should find your user token the name of the token is prefixed with gitlab dash token so here it is and copy this value okay create the variable named user service token and paste the value here i would like to mask this variable as well so i check in the mask checkbox and i'm saving this so we have these two variables we are going to set up the other ones now we are going to set up our Ergo CD username and password. Okay, our next variable is our cluster URL, so paste your cluster URL here. And save this variable as well. Our last variable is the context name. So set up your context name as well. My context name is AKS dev01. After that, you can try out your pipeline. Here you can see my result. Here you can see it installed curl to be able to install kubectl and argo cd here you can see it installed kubectl and argo cd after that it connected to my kubernetes cluster it did the port forwarding and login to argo cd it set the variables and called the app synchronization command and finally here you can see the results of the synchronization and the job succeeded. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Today we have learned how can we use CI-CD pipeline to connect to our Kubernetes cluster and start our automatic deployment process from there. If you liked my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will find many interesting contents on this channel in the future too. So thank you very much. Bye.